mean by the looks of it? Just see them go across the bridge. second right, well, after a three minute wait there good to have a pause on the camera
get the uh, 10% or whatever. like what with the aches and pains I've got the uh, arthritis and repairing my stomach it's uh, well I'm losing my teeth I can't get on with dentures either so I don't know what to say to that soups for the rest of my life. I don't know. I don't like anything in my mouth, you know. 
it sounds horrible, but the operation itself was not that bad. Um, it was there's no pain. And it was quite strange where you hear a machine talking, and uh, it comes up with like serialization. You get that the water going across your eye, um, and then incision, and you see your eye wobble and. It says something like removal, and at that point you see this like petri dish um, slide out either eye, and as it slides outwards, you can see all your cataracts on it. And then at that point, you have no focusing issue. Uh, you haven't got a focus uh, center point. So what you see is the theater lights. kaleidoscopes uh, it's very pretty you know how it goes around but you see nothing other than that and uh, that would kind of worry you if that's what all you saw um, but anyway after that there's a tap of your eye and this new peepee dish comes in and it's nice and clear well they're plastic so, you have about, you wear a patch for a couple of hours and then um, this patch has holes in so you can see the outside world. It's a way of training your eye uh, to refocus. And to be honest with you, um, the eye improved 81%.
sound was bouncing coming towards him. So he um, he looked, he couldn't see them. So what he did next was he took aim and again he shouted out to them to stop. Nothing happened. They wouldn't stop, it was still coming. So he he had given the correct warnings. So he went and uh, took a shot. The next morning, uh, they went out into the wood to find out what he had shot. <laughs> and it was the farmer's prize horse that got loose. And it was the four feet that was making the noise. So he was not particularly happy. Uh, the farmer and they had to give a lot of conversation to the farmer but what do you do in that situation if you're told not to allow anybody to approach and use lethal force if they keep approaching you and ask them to stop but nowhere in the rule book do they say if it's an animal you've got to you know coax it away I mean when I was in the Air Force uh, life I was in Cyprus and they had to they give me a rifle and they said right there you are there's your rifle go out and guard and I went okay and he says if somebody approaches you you've got to say holds the matter to her holds the matter to her holds the matter to her then you've got to say it in English halt or I'll fire halt but I fire, halt, or I'll fire. At that point, you load the, um, the weapon, cock it back, and you shout her again, halt to matador. Three times in English, halt, or I'll fire. <laughs> and he says, then you fire, and you aim for the centre of the body. Now, if you miss him, or you wound him, you will get done for misuse of the military uh, weaponry. If you shoot him and he's dead and they find out he's deaf, 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 then you will be done for murder. And I went, okay, have your gun back. I'll call for you if anybody comes towards me. I mean, come on. It's a hell of a responsibility that, isn't it? You know, you've got so much um, to think about. When you're in the armed services, you rules and regulations. And I am not in any way shunning that. As the best part of my life was in the Air Force. And it's made me the person I am today. And a lot of people youngsters of today should have that drilled into them to respect uh, but it's not going to happen uh, our country has gone down now you know and a lot of people wouldn't actually survive the armed services anyway we have arrived 24 minutes into Ashington uh, so we're going to carry on a little bit further to Asda, uh, which is about two minutes further on, and uh, that'll be it. Okie dokie. If you want to join me on other adventures, driving adventures, let me know and I'll do them. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.